so good day everyone welcome to studio 39 design studio this is richman speaking your resident architect in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to do uh, eight of these uh, different roof types which are very common in the architectural field before i continue i'd like to encourage you guys to like comment and subscribe to this channel because i'll be doing videos like this every week now with that said let's get into it so the first roof that i'm going to be doing for you guys is uh is a flat roof and uh, basically a flat, a flat roof is easy uh, i'll just go to the next floor i'm gonna right click on the ground floor and then i'm going to show as a trace reference so i'm going to be using this area right here and then i'm going to be selecting uh the <clears throat> the floor slab the the slab tool and then i'm just going to go ahead and click from one point to the other using the rectangular geometric method when i go to 3d that's what you get now if you want to get maybe some parapets into the mix over there i'm going to offset the edges to the inside go to 3d select all of this uh, alt g to sort of like ungroup everything because currently they are grouped the walls and then i'm going to extrude it maybe about uh i'm, I'm not going to specify so i'm just gonna select a parapet roof and that's how you would want to do a flat roof maybe and uh let's go down to the ground floor plan once again uh ground floor layout uh now what i want to do is i would like to do a mono pitch roof also known as a shed roof so i'm going to be clicking the roof tool right here and i'm going to be clicking the the simple uh structure method and then uh, we're going to be using the uh, geometric method of the uh, single plane uh, with this one obviously uh, other things that you'd want to set in place is the pitch and uh, I'm just gonna set it up at 28 uh, degrees for this one and then the offset is going to be 200 2.5 2.6 I mean which is uh, uh, 2600 because that's the floor to ceiling height that I'll I'm preferring to use right here uh, first of all I have to define where I want to put my wall plate and then uh, you click one point and then you click which direction you'd want your wall plate to face and then uh, you'll create your roof over there another thing that I'm realizing right now is that I want uh, to change the roof edge angle and I just want it to be like that and then uh, obviously you can then offset the edge so what i want to do is I, I want the offsets on the side to be to to 200 and also on this side to be 200 and then on the other side i'm going to be 400 that's 400 millimeters and then on the other side right now it's telling me that uh, it's not going to show on the ground floor layout which is fine i don't i don't have a problem i can just go to the next floor uh pick this plane over here and then offset it by by 400 and then you can just go to the 3d view <clears throat> maybe this is a bit too much uh, what you can do maybe is you can bring it down to about 15 um, degrees and then you can select all the walls and then uh, extrude to the top of this select that select the roof element also and then you can just click on trim elements to roof or shell and then you can just say uh, trim that's how you'd want to do that the other rooftop that I want to do for you guys is a, a double pitch uh, also known as a gable roof for this one we're going to be using the roof tool once again but this time we're going to be using the multiple plane uh, geometric method and then uh, I'm going to be selecting other things that you'd want to do so I'm controlling T to open up the settings if you don't want to do that you can just click on the setting dialog or con control T as I showed you guys and the offset is uh, 2.6 from the ground floor plan 
and uh, I need to go back to the ground floor plan because that's where I want to draw it from and then what I want to set is uh, the thickness I'm not really worried about that I can use 28 as the pitch and then I'm going to make sure that the, uh, the vertical angle is, uh, is, is straight down and um, other things that I want to do is I want to make so, sure that the offset of the roof is going to be 400 on all sides and uh, not going to be planning to be manipulating anything I think that's okay for now and then I can click from one point to the other because we are using the uh, the, the, the rectangular construction method one point to that point and then what you are what you end up get, getting is uh, is you are actually getting a, a hip hook first but that's not what we're trying to create here we're trying to create a uh, a, a, a hip roof or a double pitch roof so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna select this edge right here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch a horizontal ridge so what I can do is I can go and to that point and then do the same thing this side right and uh, when we go to 3d that's what you get and then I'm going to select this wall and uh, that wall and then I'm going to sort of like extend them up so we're going to be using the stretch height uh, to that point right here so these these walls are both selected and then I'm going to select the roof and I'm going to sort of like trim elemental roof once again that's what you get so the next roof type that I want to do is a a, a, a butterfly roof uh, which is basically similar as a mono pitch roof so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to select the, the roof tool and I'm going to select the single plane method and then I'm going to select where I want my wall plate to be and then I'm going to select which where I want my slope to sort of like slope up to and then I'm going to draw the actual plane from that point to that point right now it's not going to be showing on the ground floor plane which is fine with me because I can always go to the next floor layout and then I'm going to extend by 200 on this side and then I'm going to extend by uh, 400 on this side and then I'm going to extend by uh, 200 on this side and what I'm going to do is I'm going to control shift M to mirror using a plane so I'm going to be mirroring from along this line and then that's what you get uh, maybe the pitch is a bit too much. So like we did with the, with the previous mono pitch I'm going to change it to about 15 degrees uh, What I'm going to do also is I'm going to select all of this uh, These walls what I'm going to do is I'm going to alt G to Ungroup all these walls and then I'm going to sort of like extend height uh, so I'm going to extend the height that's one all right and then I'm gonna select the roof and then I'm going to trim the, the walls to to the roof and that's what you get that's your mono pitch roof <clears throat> uh, which is actually a butterfly roof and then the other rooftop which I want to show you guys is a is a, is a hip roof so let's go ahead back to our ground floor plan I'm going to be selecting the roof tool once again and I'm going to be using the multiple planes once again and then I'm going to open up the settings 28 degrees is fine with me um, <clears throat> 400 uh, offset on all sides is fine with me and also the uh, vertical angle of the roof edge is fine with me and then I'm going to select from one point to the other point where my wall plate is going to be and then when I open up 3d there you go you have yourself a, a hip roof <clears throat> which is commonly used for Tuscan roof types and then uh, uh, the other roof type which I want to show you guys is a Dutch roof uh, so uh, what we got to do is I'm going to go ahead and select the we're going to be using the same method as we did with the hip roof uh, but this time uh, what I'm going to do is um, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add here in this area right here I'm going to add and then um, 
the so there's going to be two positions where the the you, you can sort of like uh, indicate two angles or two different angles with the same roof plane um so i think that's fine for now we can manipulate it later so i'm going to just draw this and it's going to look like it's a hip roof and uh, that's what you get uh, so now we're trying to we're gonna go ahead and uh, get into this so the let the level maybe for uh the second the second level i'm going to maybe extend it to three meters let's see what happens so i need to find a way to manipulate this so let's go back to two meters okay so i think that the, the issue here is the height so i'm gonna try and figure out exactly what's the height so it's like the height is about uh, 1.6 so I'm, i want it to be half of that so uh, so the height from here to there will have to be 800 yeah that's that that's better so that i can actually see the 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 change uh where the change of the roof angle is supposedly supposed to be but what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be picking that edge right here and i'm going to be sort of like uh, stretching the whole horizontal ridge and i want the horizontal ridge to line up to where the start is of the next roof plane and then i'm going to do the same thing on this side and that's when you get your dutch roof now the next rooftop that I want to do is uh, is basically a combination uh, of the the two roof types. So I'm going to be doing the same thing, selecting this one, and then uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that. And 3D, the change is going to be happening on this one. So maybe if this roof, the the first the first portion of the roof which is the bottom portion can be 28 and then we can go maybe up to about in fact it can't be 28 reason being that that's the maximum if you're using sort of like a a, a roman tile a roman concrete, concrete uh, roof tile so uh what i'm going to be doing i'm going, going to be setting this up to about 20 degrees and that's what you get and then maybe i'll lower this uh just a little bit maybe to 600 maybe yeah so this is just a combination of the two very common and then and then the last roof type i'm going to be show you showing you guys is a, a gambrel um gambrel i think that's how you pronounce it so we're gonna do the same thing uh let me just select this a, uh, the same roof and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, delete one of the levels reason being is uh, what I want to do is I want to give this one uh, 45 degrees yeah that's fine with me and then i can offset it from that point to that point so that it ends up being a double pitch or a hip roof to 200 on this side and then 200 on the other side so now what i'm gonna do is i'm going to create another roof uh, let's do this maybe from that point to that point what i want to make sure is that this roof is the same on the side so that's about 9 uh, 9 12 so i'm going to extend it by uh, 9 12 on the other side there you go and i'm going to make sure that i also control t i'm also going to remove the, the other level 
and then um, the pitch is uh, 28 which is fine I'm going to extend stretch the horizontal ridge so that it lines up properly yeah I'm happy with that uh, and then I'm gonna make sure that everything lines up here so basically I'm just uh, cheating the system right now and then I can always extend it up so that it's sort of like connect right there <clears throat> And uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go to the first floor layout and then I'm going to click one of the edges of the roof and then we are going to be using the subtract from polyline. So I'm going to click from one end uh, to the other end. So I want to sort of like punch out a hole which works out right now and then I'm going to extend it to that point and then I'm going to extend this hole also to the other side. So it was it doesn't want to do it right now. And there you go. And that's what you get. The only problem is that portion right there. And uh, what I'm going to do, I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to do here. Alright, so I'm realizing right now that I might have to do just a simple mono pitch on this one. So I'm going to go ahead, go to the ground floor plan, select my mono pitch, and then I'm going to draw it like that. And I want the mono pitch to be 45 degrees. I'm going to do that, and then I can delete this roof right here select my mono pitch and then mirror it from the from the middle and uh, that's what you get so what I'm going to do right now also is I'm going to be selecting these two walls and then I'm going to be extending them up and then I'm going to select all these roofs and then I'm going to trim to roof and that's what you get So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. These are the uh, four simple and common roof types used in the architectural field, um, <clears throat> which you can use on your project. I hope you guys uh, like this video. I hope it was helpful for you guys. Um, like I said, like, comment, and subscribe to this channel because I'll be doing videos like this every week. Love you guys. God bless you and goodbye. I'm sorry.